In this video, we are discussing Spark overview. Spark is actually required for in-memory cluster computing. And as it is in-memory cluster computing, so it is lightning first. And we know that memory access time will be quite less compared to the disk accessing time. So in case of in-memory cluster computing, we have tried our level base to reduce the number of disk read and write operations. And also the intermediate results will be stored in the memory. So that's why we are going to enjoy 100 times faster in-memory cluster computing. Spark is also having inbuilt API for Scala, for Java and also for Python. So Spark applications can be developed in multiple different languages. So let us go for more detailing about this Spark overview. So what is Spark? Apache Spark is a lightning fast cluster computing technology designed for fast computation and it is based on Hadoop MapReduce. And the main feature of Spark is in-memory cluster computing that increases the processing speed of an application. So if you do the processing, doing the read-write operations from the disk, obviously that will be a slower one. But here we are going for in-memory cluster computing. So Spark is one of the Hadoop's sub-project developed in the year 2009 in UC Berkeley's AMP lab by Matei Jaharia. So here we are discussing the history of this Spark. So it was open sourced in the year 2010 under the BSD license and it was donated to Apache Software Foundation in 2013. That's why we call it as Apache Spark. And now Apache Spark has become a top level Apache project from the year February 2014. So there is a history of Apache Spark. Now features of Spark. Now why the Spark has become so popular? Let us discuss about its features. First one is the speed. Spark helps us to run an application in a Hadoop cluster and in a or up to 100 times faster in memory and 10 times faster when running on the disk. This is possible by reducing a number of read write operations on the disk because we know that if we reduce, if we can reduce the read write operations on the disk, the process will be executing faster. That's why we have done this one in memory. And it stores the intermediate processed result also in the memory. So when the intermediate processing will be done, the result thus produced will be also kept in the memory. So supports different languages, that is the next feature. So Spark provides built-in APIs in Java, Scala and Python and therefore you can write applications in different languages as, you, as well. We are going for the advanced analytics, there is a, another very important feature. Spark not only supports the map and reduce, it also supports SQL queries and streaming data, machine learning and graph algorithms. So that's why we can develop different kinds of data analysis and we can go for advanced analytics also on this Spark. So let us go for the installation uh, process, how to install Spark and Scala on our system. We'll be discussing with one uh, demonstration video, we shall maintain step by step so that also we can configure your system at your end. So here is the demonstration for you. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install Scala on our system. So here we are having the download link. So that is the https colon slash slash download slash lightband.com and this way the download link is there. So we shall copy this download link and we shall paste it onto our browser. So here we are opening one new tab and then we have gone for the paste and directly it will ask for the save the file and the file will get downloaded onto the download folder. So now the file has got downloaded automatically. So we have opened the respective zip file. So we are creating one new folder under home. So name of the folder we are given as Scala. So the folder has got created. Log into this folder. Going for double click. Control A. So drag. So all the files have got copied. Download folder has been closed. So here we are having this Scala folder here. We are having this Scala folder with all the files extracted. Now we shall go for this particular path has to be put in this slash etc slash profile file. So after downloading the file from the respective URL, so we have extracted the file, we have copied all the contents of the file 
and we have pasted it onto a folder naming the folder as Scala creating a new folder as Scala under the home path and then we are going for this copy of this export path is equal to so this line has to be copied and that has to be pasted pasted onto this etc slash profile file so now we have done the copy then opening the file so sudo gedit slash etc slash profile so shall come at the end of the file and the path has to be pasted here going for the save and close now let me execute the profile file at first so that uh, the path will get effective now to check whether the Scala has got loaded or not I'm just going to execute this Scala and that is record versions I'm going for this so in this way we have shown you that how to load Scala onto our system so we're going for this execution and the Scala prompt has come in this demonstration we're going to show you that how to install spark on our system so at first we are going to download the spark here from the link as it has been shown here and as we are dealing with the Hadoop 2.4 so the respective 2.4 version of the spark will be required for our installation for the compatibility issues so here the download link for the spark is also mentioned for the Hadoop 2.4 but also we can search it from the list of all the other versions of the spark available so at first we are going for the copy of this download link the URL is getting copied and pasting it here now you can find that respective version that is Hadoop 2.4 the spark has to be downloaded for the Hadoop 2.4 here so going for the search so this is the download link also mentioned so now we're going for the 2.4 version of the Hadoop so we have got it clicking here save the file and then OK so the file is getting downloaded onto our download folder so progress has been observed so the download has been completed successfully so here we are having the zip file has got extracted we are under the home folder we are going to create one folder with the name spark and then log into that folder we are going for con control a that is a select all and then we drag all the files onto the spark folder closing the download folder here now we are going to set the respective path here so we are going for sudo gedit slash etc slash profile so this particular file has to be updated with the path giving the password so coming at the end making a space here so this is the respective path to be copied so that is export path is equal to dollar path colon slash home big data slash spark slash bin so this respective path has to be put uh, to that uh, slash etc slash profile file in the copy and pasting it at the end saving it closing it now coming to the terminal we are going to execute the profile so that the path will get reflect will get effective and now we are going for this spark execution so how to execute this one spark hyphen shell without having any blank space in between you can find that the spark is getting executed and in this way I have shown you that how to install spark on our system so you can find the Scala uh, has come here so there is a Scala prompt so in this way you have shown you that how to install spark in our system and what are the different steps we require to do so